Hello everyone. My name is Akash and I am from CC Simplify IT. Me and my team work on BPM and e-commerce projects. So today I will show you how we can transfer the actual chief data to DynamoDB. So there is a procedure for that. What I have done, uh, let me show you the Excel sheet. So this is this is the actual sheet. In this actual sheet, there are different different columns like log code and this log name, ORG ID, short name, location type, variety. So this is like the actual actual sheet, but uh, I have converted this actual sheet into the CSV format, so which uh, which has the con which uh, has the difference is that um, in CSV, in CSV format the data is uh, differentiated with the help of only commas, uh, like the limited commas. So uh, I, uh, I have inserted three rows into this actual sheet, and these three rows are uh, will work uh, will work like an uh, are inserted by myself so uh, after that after that uh, I used a software that's called stack mob export AWS import this software works like to send the CSV format data onto DynamoDB directly and these are the reasons on which data can be sent but I have to uh, import data into local uh, AWS DynamoDB. So first of all, I have to select uh, from here the side a file called g.csv, and when I selected the file, this is the data which will be imported to DynamoDB. So this data is in the format of a JSON format. So I will copy this data and put it in a file called json format file so this is the file which i had made it stores data in json format so i will i will send this data through, our, through my code written in the project to dynamod so this file name is mutable dot json file so after that this is my code in which first of all i have made a connection to the local dynamodb through this method here this is the method which has the line of codes to connect the local dynamodb after that this is the code i have written to insert that JSON format data into my DynamoDB. So first, in uh, in this code, first of all, I have made a connection, and then make the table uh, class reference, which takes the table name that's called new table, which is often by me, which is uh, now blank. After that, uh, I used a JSON parser object, and with the help of that object, I have passed that file mutable.json and put the data after passing into a JSON array and after that uh, with the help of loop I read the data from the add array and put the data in a JSON object then with the help of that object I am putting the data into different columns which which are the columns of my table like log code and ORD ID, short name, uh, location type, hierarchy code. So these are the columns of my table. And from the object, I'm just putting the data into, the, into these columns. And this procedure will repeat it by with the help of a loop until the file will complete it. Processing. Processing. So this is the code. And if I run this code, in the browser, I will show you what it will happen. So let's see. Data 
Sorry, I'm so doing to do the vault. He's on a deep list. So let me check the data is 72 the table by clicking this read access data button I have made an action is calling or not so page is loading after this procession okay since the action is called okay. so let me check the table got the data from action or not so this is the local DynamoDB and this is the new table. Let me open it. Okay. Since the data is into the table, means what the data I have in the actual seed got in this table of DynamoDB. Means this is the same data which I have entered into the uh, actual seed. So let me. Uh, I'll show you through that my actual seat it is like this. So this is the actual seat having the three rows and this is my dynamo DB table. Okay. So this is the procedure of passing the data from actual seat to download the movie. So okay, thank you for listening. I, I will appreciate your comments.